Well, hello to my Sunday School friends. It is really nice to see you today. I am so glad. We're in kind of a sad part of the story, if you remember. Last time we talked about how King Saul died. And not just him, but Jonathan and two others of Saul's sons died fighting the Philistines. And maybe you weren't able to listen to that story because your parents thought that it was a little too scary for you. And if that's the case, then that's right. That was the right decision. So that's the, that's the little summary. Uh, you know that sometimes people die, sometimes animals die. Uh, and so we're at the part of the story where Saul dies. Now, when David found out about it, there are things that we can learn about how we should live and about how we should carry ourselves when we get this kind of news, when we hear uh, that someone or something that we loved has died. So David had been out fighting the Amalekites and, and he came back and there was a, a soldier from Saul's army that had escaped the battle uh, and had, had brought Saul's uh, a band of gold that was around Saul's arm and the little crown that, that Saul would wear and had brought those to David along with the news that Saul was dead. Now, you'd think that David might have been happy or he might have been relieved or he might have been glad because remember, Saul was chasing him and trying to hurt him and throwing spears at him and that whole thing. But David's a better person than I am. David remembered the best parts of Saul and Jonathan. And he and his, his, his army, they fasted and they wept for Saul and Jonathan all day long. And then uh, they, they, uh, David wrote a song, a beautiful song, sort of a poetic song uh, for his friend Jonathan and for King Saul. And he didn't put in there any of the, of the sad stuff. He didn't put any in there of, of the bad stuff or the things that Saul had done wrong. He only put in the good stuff. He, he chose to forgive Saul. He chose to just remember and to talk to the people about the things that Saul had done well. And so he wrote this song and he ordered everyone to learn it and to sing it, uh, to celebrate all that God had done through Saul and all that God had done through Jonathan. And he cried and he loved his friend and he loved Saul and he didn't care who knew it or who saw it or who thought what about it. He was just very courageous and he was very good and he was very gentle uh, and he was very kind. And there's something there for us to learn, isn't there? That when we lose someone, sometimes it's tempting to just think about the things that were wrong or to stay mad. David didn't do that. David forgave Saul and celebrated his life after he was gone. And then David asked God, now, now what? Remember, I mean, David's already been anointed the next king. David knows that he's going to be the next king, but he, he waited for God to tell him what to do. And he, he asked God, he said, should I go up into the, any of the cities of Judah? And, and God said, yeah, go. And David said, where? Where do you want me? And God said, I want you to go to Hebron. It was the name of a, of a town. So David and his family and his soldiers went to Hebron to see what God wanted them to do next. It's a, it's a short story. And it's a sad story. And it's a story about how David acted trusting God, listening to God, remembering the best, being gentle, letting his feelings show. So it's something that can teach us too. So if you've been sad about losing someone or about losing a pet, you can, you can cry. You can write a song. You can write a poem. You can draw a picture. You can celebrate that life that was precious to you. And you should know that that is a good thing. That, that honors God who gave the gift of that life to you. And you can trust that the God who gave you that person or that pet will someday bring you together again. You take care. The story is about to take off again. We just had to get through this sad part, this transition part. Now we got King David. What do you think he's going to do? Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.